Hey guys, good morning and how are you doing today? My name is Shayta and today I'll be walking you through how to use Microsoft Word on your computer in order to be able to do basic assignments, projects and whatnot. Now first things first, I would be clearing all formatting which you can do with this tool. Um, so we start afresh and then I'll be walking you through what the various headers signify and what they do for you, the basic and important ones. File, you use to create new to create a new document, open to open an existing document, save to save the document that you're currently using, save as to save a new document in a particular folder with a particular title of your preference, print to print the documents that you have, share is to share the documents that to people, to friends, family, or co-workers. You can also use this to, to save. Um, next is OM, which we'll come back to. Insert is used to insert docu um, new cover pages, blank pages, insert tables, insert, um, insert tables, insert pictures, videos, links, comments, etc. Um, design, you used to also make your, your formatting look good, your documents look good. Um, watermark, you can do this. You can also change whatever is here by clicking on this and this. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. Um, as you can see, that has changed. You can change the page color to whatever it is you want. Um, layout as well used to do margins. If you notice, there's going to be a change, a difference in how this all look. Um, so that's pretty much for you to organize how your document looks. Um, references is for research purposes to table of contents, insert footnotes, insert citations, etc. Review your document. So you want to do a spell check. You want to read the document out to yourself so you have a better understanding of what you're typing. You can use the review, the review tab. Um, if you want to view this in different formats in read mode, you see it changes it. So you can use do that using the view option. Now let's go back to the home page. Uh, so for example, this is a new a text. This is supposed to be the topic. So we want to make it stand out from the other text in the document. So we bold in it and we underline it because like we said, it is the topic. Now we want to increase the font size because I mean the topic should be larger, right? So we come here, we click on the drop down and select the particular text size or font size that we want. We, want to, we can also use this to increase or decrease the size. Um, to change the font type, we can come here, click on the drop down, go down and select the preferred font size, font type that you want to use. Um, if you'd also like to italicize it, you can use this. So assuming that we want to cut out this, I mean, we don't like what it looks like. You can either use your backspace, select it all and use your backspace, or we can use cuts. Now we can also come back again and paste it back. Maybe we decided, well, I, I actually need this. When you cut it, you get it back. When you use backspace, you do not get it back. Um, so let's work with this now. Assuming you want to change the font color of this particular text, you come right here, you select this and click on the particular color that you want. So as you see, as you over on the colors, it changes. So you click on the preferred color you want. You can also highlight this text with, um, with this. You select the particular highlight color that you would want and it changes, it highlights it. Um, if you would like to copy this so you can save it somewhere else, you click on this, copy. Let's come down and show you what that does. So when you click Control V, you're able to paste it, or you can just come right here and click on paste. Now let's go back to this. Let's come here. Table of contents, it's a subtopic. So we want to make it bold. We want to, we want to, um, we want to indent all of the topics, the subtopics or the, the titles under it. Um, so we come right here. You click on the bullets and then you're able to use any of this to make it stand out. You can also number it if you want. You can click on the drop down to do ABC, small letters, capital letters, and whatnot. Now, should in case you want to increase the space between the text, you come right here 
and you increase it. So as you see, the space is getting larger and larger. So you do whichever suits you. So we'll just work with 1.5 here. Um, the next thing is theme color. So we can make that particular um, text have its own color or have its own background color. Um, so that's pretty much the most important things that you need to know to be able to use Microsoft Word effectively um, to type basic documents. Like we said, if you want to save this, come right here, save, save as, because again, it's a new document. If it was an existing document, it's automatically just save it. But because it's a new document, you come here, you save as, you choose the place where you want to save it to, and you name the document, so tutorial. Now you save, and that is that. So now this document has been saved. We have walked you through how to, the basic editors, how to put up a text document on your Microsoft Word file and how to save it. So I hope you learned something new today, and I hope you're able to implement it in the future. Thank you so much for watching and do have a great day. If you have any questions, please send us a mail to developingoneafrica at gmail.com. Africa is with a K. Thank you once again and have a great day.